Zoe, your potato dish was amazing. The nice soft boiled eggs on top, mm. fantastic. Mm. I, I love it. It's great, isn't it? Mm. And the pesto was so strong. I've still got some pesto in my mouth, that flavours. <laughs> so I'm going to have to make something really strong as well, something to, to, to go with it, I suppose. It's another egg dish, something that you could have for breakfast, you could okay. have it for lunch, or every now and again you get home late at night and you need something in your belly. So Sustenance. Exactly. So you open the fridge to up. Soak up all the energy exactly. that you've just had exactly. throughout the night. Now, what I've got is a pastry brush there and some butter. Oh. I want you to line, give it a, a brush with the um, with the butter. It's, right. it's sort of fairly soft, but I've got some of one of my favourite ingredients here. Have a look at this, Zoe. <laughs> this is bacon. This is the eye of the bacon that I got for my delicatessen. <laughs> what I want you to do, Zoe, is just wrap it around the outside. It's like we're lining the dish with, uh, you know, <laughs> bacon pastry almost, isn't it? Now, I've got about six um, of these thin slices per ramekin, one on the bottom there. See, it comes up the side there. Oh, yeah, all right. It's really easy to do. You like that? It's like, yeah, it's, I it's, guess so. <laughs> you don't have to make pastry anymore because we have this wonderful ingredient called bacon. We love it. So I'll let you I'll do, do that. that one. Yeah, if you can do those ones for me. I've got my, uh, my bowl here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to crack four eggs, Zoe. These are beautiful, free-range eggs. Look at the colour of that yolk. Great colour. I'm going to put four in here. And I'm just looking at those ramekins. You know what? I might just sneak one more in. So I've got just enough uh, mixture to go on the inside. And I've got some cream, some beautiful thickened cream. And I'm going to put in, look, about 100, 150 mils of cream in there. Yeah, Pop the lid back on. It's quite funny, Adrian, because there is a bit of a misconception when it comes comes to eggs, people think that, oh, you know, I shouldn't eat too many of them. The nice thing is, is that even if you've got high cholesterol, you can still have up to six eggs a week. And if you don't, you can have more. But when you mix them with bacon and cream and cheese, you probably should just be a little bit more mindful not to have too much. If you were just going to make it with the bacon and the straight eggs without the cream, well, it's probably going to be something that's a, a little bit sort of healthier, I would suppose. Right. Now, can I there chop some of these herbs for you? I'm you wearing can. to do more. <laughs> I want you to chop those chives. Uh, right. So a few of those chives there and some of that parsley. Some herbs are always great. You can go out to the garden and grab whatever you want. You could use some rosemary if you want or some sage, I was going to say, but they tend to be stronger herbs, so you don't want to use too much of it. Just a little sprig of those is all you need. And I always do like when you're having these sort of more richer flavoured and sort of full body type meals, herbs do clean it up. They freshen up the whole flavour. They do. I love using herbs. So what I'll do is I'll put these onto the, uh, onto the dish here. Now what I'm going to do is mix those herbs into here and I'm going to pour some of this into the bottom of it. I want to get about halfway, halfway up because I'm going to put a few other things in there. You can see in front of us we've got a few of those other ingredients. Yeah. Now this is where we add all the uh, extra ingredients. You like that? There we go. I've got some sun-dried tomatoes there. All right. And the um, avocado. I'll cut this avocado up. Okay. If you put some sun-dried tomatoes in there... Just a couple in each? A couple in each. And with the, uh, the avocado, I'm just going to peel the skin off the outside. Now, I'd normally dice the uh, avocado up, but what I'm going to do okay. is put just a big chunk of avocado okay. right into the middle there. Snuggle that up into there. And that'll sort of bake and soften up and it'll come apart. Yeah. There we go. And we've got some, uh, some goat's cheese. Now, I know you I love this love goat's this cheese. cheese. I want you to stick a fork just in there. Yeah. And put a whole block in the middle of it. Oh, really? Oh, that's whole exciting. Block. Let's just go crazy, Zoe. We're Woo! just nuts here. Now, I've got some Tabasco sauce. I like a bit of spice. If you don't like Tabasco, if you don't like chilli, don't put it in. There we go. I'll just mm. uh, put a couple mm. of drops in there. You liking that already? La -la. Now, what we need to do to make this a real sort of egg dish, I've got a few more of these eggs. So wow. grab one of these eggs. I want you to crack an egg into the top of it. Ooh, In fact, we might even go another egg, I think. It's going to wow. hold it, isn't it? The dishes are a little bit bigger than I thought. There we go. Into the top there like that, so it fills the top of it. Two eggs on top, an egg in the middle. That's a lot of egg, isn't it? This is a serious protein indulgence. I've got the <laughs> oven set at 110 degrees. I want a fair bit of heat in there. I've got a little bit of heat from the top and the bottom. In this goes. This will take about 8 to 12 minutes to cook. You'll see the egg will sit on top of it. It'll puff up a little bit and the bacon will crisp around the edges and then we'll hoe into it with a knife and fork. This will be delicious. There we go. I'll take this off here, pop it onto the plate there. Some sour cream on top just to lighten it up. And it is light sour cream, Zoe. There we go. I love your version of breakfast. Would you like some fried bread? I've fried <laughs> it in lovely butter. No? I didn't think so. Now, what we'll do is just dive in here, Zoe. Right. Bit of bacon on there. 
a little bit of the cream cheese. Look at the gooey egg runny in the middle. It is a sometimes food. It is quite luscious, full of flavour. You could really lighten this up a lot if you wanted to, if it, if it was up to you. But... Hey, why would you? It's an Adrian dish. <laughs> exactly. My words, exactly. I'll have a crunch of this. I can't wait to see what you've got coming up next. Mmm.